guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have a very fun and exciting thrift flip for you guys today, but I kind of wanted to take it up a step further. So this is a thrift flip and a DIY hack all in one. So I really got inspiration from apothecary cabinets. I love the style of apothecary cabinets, but I do not love the price of apothecary cabinets. So saw this bookcase at the thrift store and thought maybe I can DIY an apothecary cabinet out of a thrifted item. Now, I will say it's a hack in the sense that it looks like an apothecary cabinet. Does it function like an apothecary cabinet? No, it functions like an actual storage cabinet. But I loved making this, which by the way, this video is a joint effort with me and my husband. We're definitely a team when it comes to this stuff, so I'm really excited that I could build this with him, and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right guys, so the bookcase has already been sanded. I'll show you that in a second. So what we're gonna be doing now is painting it. Now, obviously you've seen the egregious color that once was and the sanding didn't actually take it all off in fact when i washed it we had so much red and blue come up so i'm so glad that i'm painting it and i'm also painting it a dark color i chose a black color for this shelf and i'm thinking that was probably the right idea as opposed to a white which was one that i was toying with so it's already been wiped up and washed down so we're going to start painting right now All right guys, this is what it looks like with the first coat. So it's coming along pretty well. I'd say that it covered most of the blue and red. So one touch up coat and I think I'll be good to go. All right guys, it is day two. So I'm gonna quickly go through all the things that we did and kind of show you footage as I'm talking about it. So we first started off by cutting the panel to the size of the bookcase. Then we cut a project panel down to six by six inch squares. We made a total of 12 of these. We also had to sand down the door to give it a more smoother surface than what we were working with because it was a pretty rough board of pine wood. Once it was all sanded down, then we went on to making the grid for the squares to sit in. So we just put four rows of three squares so once we had our spacing correct, we just glued them down with wood glue. So right now, what I'm going to be doing is staining the door now. So I'm gonna do two coats of my golden oak stain and then two coats of poly. So let's get started on that. All right guys, it is day three. So it's time to put the second coat of stain on the door. I'll show you that in a second, but it was looking pretty good after one coat. So let's look at that. All right guys, here it is after the first coat. Now, if you see the inconsistencies in the wood, it's because this is actually oak and this is pine. So anytime you're working with pine, you wanna condition the wood before you actually stain it. It's gonna kind of Make sure you're not getting like inconsistencies kind of like this. So I didn't condition the wood and that is definitely a mistake on my part. If you're trying to recreate this, one I would say definitely make sure if you're using pine, condition the wood. Otherwise I would say definitely go for the more expensive option which is oak. And um, I kind of did an experiment with this too. I just kind of wanted to see if the oak would stain the same as the pine. All in all, I will say that for the most part, it is pretty consistent.
All right, guys, so the project is almost done. I did the coats of poly off camera. I didn't want to bore you with that. It's kind of redundant at this point. So I'm going to be putting the handles on the door, and then I'm going to be attaching the door to the bookcase. So I'm really excited for you guys to see it when it all comes together. that's it for the content today but thank you so much for watching this was honestly such a fun DIY hack to do and let me know in the comments or give this a thumbs up if you're interested in seeing more DIY hacks really hope you enjoy this video if you haven't already definitely make sure you're subscribed and you hit that notification bell so you're in the know when I post again I have a lot of great things coming up including another DIY hack for you guys and this one is honestly gonna supersede this one. So the DIY hack that I'm doing right now, it's very popular, it's very stylish, it is very expensive though. And I've seen people do DIY hacks for cheaper, but I'm gonna bring it cheaper for you guys. You don't wanna miss this one, guys. I am sure of it. But yeah, with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I can't wait for the next one. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.